Hey, guys. Hello. I'm Pat. Hey, Pat. I'm Jackson. Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Good to meet you. Kristen loves animals. She's got the investment. We're talking about a 12-year-old girl. She wants to be a veterinarian. This is the kind of girl we need more of in this world, and I want to go that extra mile to help her out. Tell me what's going on, guys. Well, we have this cat named Moose. Moose. And he's about four years old, and he cannot be left alone. He just marks everything and everywhere. OK. For about a year now. OK. And so we put him in the bathroom because we can't let him roam around the house or else he starts marking. Oh. When Lori told me that Moose basically lives in the bathroom, I got to say, I was pretty surprised. Instead of letting that energy out in a creative way, you're putting him in a small enough space that he's going to blow. You're guaranteeing it. And he is neutered, yeah? Correct. What else? Is there other behaviors that I have to know about? I've been attacked. Oh, let me see that. When did that happen? Today. Yeah. Ow! That is nasty. Yeah. Lori has scratch marks on her hands. And they're not little scratch marks either. They're really bad looking scars. And that alone has me on edge. We kind of had it. You've we had, okay. are ready to give him the boot. And, really? Uh, like now? Months ago, I was done. Months ago, yeah, we, you were done. And the thing that really concerns me is he's been very, very aggressive towards Kristen. He's scratched her up pretty good. One of the instances was I have a lizard up in my room. And so Moose will get on top of the cage and stare down at the lizard. So I would take Moose down. I would say no. And then he kind of hissed at me. And he stuck his claws like right here. And like I literally had to take his claws off my face throw him down onto oh the bed my. and run out of the room and shut the door. I was horrified. And I started thinking, man, it must be incredibly frustrating and incredibly saddening to be this child and to watch the cat that you just raised turn on you and to know that he's one paw out the door. When it comes down to her safety, he cannot be in her room. Did that change the way you felt about him? Um, it did make me a little fearful. Why are you still fighting with your dad about keeping him here? Because I still love him. Now you're going to make me cry. Oh. OK. <laughs> Do you feel anything coming off him that worries you at all? Um, he seems calm. Yeah, he does. And I know from your show, when they blink like that, it means yes. they're kind of calm. <laughs> One high five. Nice, very nice. One of the things I really love about Kristen being the, sort of the aspiring veterinarian is her powers of interpretation are as good as her powers of observation. And that's something I'll be able to work with. The other thing I want to talk to you about is the lizard. Yeah. When cats are looking at their prey, mm -hmm. when they're focused on hunting that way, they go through this switch where they're just hunters. That's all they are. So in that moment that he was looking at the lizard, you pick him up. And not only do you pick him up, you hold him in the air you said no and at that moment he's not thinking it wasn't like i don't like you no he was a hunter not your pet yeah do you see because he yet? wanted it because it's his instinct to look at it she got it you could see it in her eyes she lit up in that moment because she understood now i've got a partner to work with and i'm going to be using kristen's know-how and her smarts to solve this case hey guys hey so let me tell you some of the homework OK, Kristen, knowing that you want to be a vet, I got you a little vet kit. And more important than just being a vet kit, this is a detective kit. Because really, what I'm asking you to do is be the main detective in the house. And every place that he marks, please put a post-it. And you're going to have to walk around and find out every last bit of information that we can get, because I don't feel like I've got remotely what I need, OK? I've always wanted to be a veterinary. So I'm excited that um, I can have these tools to help me. Now let's start talking about what we're going to do about the marking. I want you to put more litter boxes in the house. Put one new litter in one of the boxes, the old litter in another box. Let's see which one he likes. The next thing, I could not leave here tonight if we continue to do what's going on here in terms of the bathroom. I got to have him come back into your room. Not 24-7, but I got to start moving him back in that room a little bit to have access to the place that was so important to him. And right now, at least for the time being, we can't have the lizard in your bedroom. If we know that there's something that sets him off, why have it in there, mm -hmm. OK? And that keeps him from going off. 
Once we have him going up into her room more and owning that room again, we've reestablished the relationship, then we say no more to that bathroom, let him out, and actually be a member of the family again. I'm here for my final visit with Pat and Lori and Kristen and their cat and Moose. And the last time I was here, the aggression had gone way down, but the marking was still a big problem. So I stepped up their homework, and if they stuck to it, I think Moose will be much better. I'm just hoping I'm walking into nothing but good news. Hey, guy, how you doing? Hey, Pat. Come on in. How you doing, man? Very good. So, guys, good to see you guys. Good to see you. Where's Kristen? She's at school. She'll be home soon. Good. So, talk to me about oh. it. The markings have probably gone 80% down. 80% down? I'd say maybe once a day. Oh, man. Big difference. Guys, that's amazing. Big difference. He's using the litter box. That is so cool. <laughs> Basically, where there used to be 40 incidences of pee per day, there was maybe one. That's pretty amazing. Moose has got free reign of the house. He is not in the bathroom anymore. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? When I first met this cat, he was one of the worst spraying cases I'd ever seen. And now, they're beginning to trust him the more he walks around. And the more they trust him, the more he trusts his environment. And that's key. And up in Kristen's room, there's no violence. They just hang around like pals the way we would want it to be. There's a lot of reasons why Moose isn't aggressive towards Kristen anymore. First of all, they're opening the door to the bathroom so he doesn't feel territorially confined. They're letting him in Kristen's room to sleep. And third, I taught Kristen about when not to approach Moose when he's feeling all activated by the lizard. All those things combined are a big reason why Moose isn't attacking. All the way around, pretty amazing things I'm hearing right now. Yeah. Now, of course, I have your video homework uh, that you've shot since the last time I was here. So let's take a look. On Pat and Lori's video homework, I got to see, finally, Pat fixing the weather stripping in the garage. Remember the last time I was here, they had a cat coming into their garage, and that was causing Moose to backslide and continue spraying all over the house. Now, no other cats can get in and threaten Moose's territory. What's you doing there? Filling out my journal. Also on the video homework, I got to see Kristen continuing to journal about Moose. Can you show me the front of it? I'll tell you, it really does my heart good, because she will be helping animals. I can feel it. There's the little vet. Also, on the video homework, I got to see Moose being led around on his leash, spraying his perimeter. See his tail like one up. And there we go. There we go. And now he's peeing in an appropriate place, outside. Wow. The video homework I saw today was fantastic. I mean, really great news in there. But it was time to get up, walk around, take a look at all the environmental adjustments they had made since the last time I had been here. OK, this is exactly. Yeah what I wanted you guys to do. Now, this is a hallelujah. You got nature's litter box down there, a great place to sit in the sun. That makes me happy. I mean, I love the fact that you guys planted Hi. stuff here, too. Thank hey, Kristen. You. Kristen came home from school and joined us, and she was really smiling. She looked great, and that was good for me to see. All right, guys, good stuff. Let's go back inside. Hello, little boy. Now, this whole family is telling me that Moose is a different cat since the last time I was here, that his confidence is way up. And of course, I got to see that for myself. He looks great. I would imagine you got to feel good for him. Yeah, because he's happy. So has this whole experience with him given you insight that you might not have had before? Um, yeah, it challenges my brain more on what he does and why he does it. I'm happy if you're happy. Yeah, I am. I am happy. <laughs> I'm really happy because Moose is a lot calmer and friendlier. And it's good to know that I'm not going to have my face attacked or all of my stuff peed on.